be talking about our Raspberry Pi portable, if you would, camera um, using a whole bunch of things. Uh, so these things aren't working, so I'm going to have to actually like hold this up and be like that person. Um, so the way we set this up is we are we're, we're running Linux off of the Raspberry Pi, which is connected to the camera, and then if we want to get our little diagram here. Um, uh, so we have the Raspberry Pi with the camera, which is connected to the USB hub, which is only providing power. There's no data at this point. And it goes to a battery pack. And at this time, the battery is being charged by my other battery pack. So we have the pirate box, which we set up on the first day. And that is serving over a wireless network. So the Pi can connect to that. And then clients, which means like phones and stuff, can connect to that. The monitor uses SSH, which is a secure shell, and is like a remote command line. I don't know if any of you ever use that tool on your computer, but um, it's a remote command line, so we can monitor the status of it. So right now, we're going to use the SSH program. Let me just show them. Alex, if you would. You received it. It's okay. So we, uh, when we, the way we launch the program is by CDing uh, or changing the directory of the commands to the home directory where the file is stored. The Python file is actually written in Python. And then we're going to check the file, and then we're going to launch the file that uh, starts the program. And now it's launched, so it's listening for port 8000. Which I am with on um, my phone. I can connect to uh, everything that's going on here. So we can use our phone as a wireless remote to set off the camera. And yeah, I did that. Um, and you can do a whole bunch of different things like exposure, um, quality, contrast, um, and a whole bunch of different effects. Um, but we're just going to take a normal picture right now. Um, okay, so here we go. Connecting, and it usually takes about three seconds. Three, two, one. Smile, everybody. And there we go. Um, finishing up. And now we you see get. on the computer, on the SSH terminal, we have information about where the file is stored. So we're going to go into the browser, and we're going to go to the server, which is the IP address. Two of you are smiling, I think, at most. No, three. Okay. Port 8000, because that's, that's where the server is stored. And there we can go into Barry Cam, the folder. Uh, so Image 18, okay, so it's image 18, so now, you see someone like this one, so there we go, there are all of you, <laughs> all you happy people, <laughs> yes. now that's stored on there, so this is, uh, this is, can be used in a variety of ways, so this is our basic setup for now, um, yeah. we're lacking a lot of things that, um, that we could use to make this um, a lot better. Um, the battery pack that we were using didn't have a lot of charge, so we had to put it up um, Another battery pack. with the uh, backpack. So it makes it about 50 pounds heavier. Um, so if we had a battery pack, we could keep it all in this one box here. Um, and the smallest size you could make it is about the size of a cigar box. but. That was our project. We made a portable camera using the Raspberry Pi and Firefox. Yeah.